Well, hey guys, it is a beautiful fall day in the Colorado mountains. And I wanna give you a one year update on our GeoCell driveway. We definitely have things that we like about it. And there's a couple things that were kind of a mistake. But first I have to show you what happened this morning. We had a little surprise in our yard with a moose family and I wait till you see it. So we have some moose this morning, mama moose, two babies, one over here, one over there. And you can hear the male, the bulls are calling her. Waiting for him to come out of the trees down there. pretty early it's only like six six thirty in the morning no barking big o <coughs> oh I see him coming he's coming this way he's right through the trees over there We've been seeing two males down by the lake, so it could be two males coming after her. So last year we put down this special mix for our driveway uh, gravel situation and it has pretty much stayed in place. But further down on the driveway where the corner is, it's more of a slope there and that's been a challenging area for us for several years. So last year at the very end of August, we put in GeoCell, like a gridding system to kind of hold the gravel into place so it doesn't wash out or move from using a plow. So I wanna go show you what that looks like up close. If you're wondering about how much it stays in place, it definitely stays in place on flat areas. Like it, we, it hasn't, it's not even exposed on the edges of the driveway. So despite driving up and down, despite truck deliveries, despite moving snow and doing the snow blower, we haven't had any loss on the edges here but that's not the case for a little bit further down. So let's start looking at the curve itself. And Brian has done some grading of the driveway. So we, we have had sections where the geo cell was exposed and Brian has used the box grader to kind of drag it back over. But there are some areas that seem to be particular on a little bit of more of the loss. And that's right on the steepest part. When you look at the driveway from this way, you can see a couple of spots where some of the geo cell is exposed but there really isn't much loss on the edges. So the edges of the driveway have stayed in place, but where you're seeing some exposure is right here on the very steepest part. You can see the outline of some of the geocell grids. So it's kind of like a little bit of a diamond there. And 
that's just a, a hint of an outline. Right on this edge here is a little bit more where you can see some tire tracks. So when we have big deliveries, sometimes we get trucks trying to scoot up this hill and they pull out a little bit of the gravel, but it's really not all that disturbed. There's a little bit up here on this hill. You can see the faint edges of the outline of the geocell. And I wanna show you what's going on over at the hill. So when you take a look down at the driveway, you can see there's still definitive lines on each side, even though we've got grass growing in on each side, but it hasn't really, hasn't really disappeared at all. But I do need to tell you about our first mistake. Now, our first mistake has to do with drainage of water on the driveway. So let me show you really close what this looks like on the inside corner of the driveway. You can see where the larger rocks are exposed on the edge here and the water's cutting a channel, but the water has done it itself. We did not add this channel, okay? This is all from the water following its own path. Now, it's staying to the edge of the driveway until we get to one point. So about halfway down the hill, right about here is where the water starts to come into the driveway. You can see the size of the, look at the size of the gravel here. So that is indicating that a lot of the mix, the select mix is getting washed away. And you can see there's a little bit more exposure of the geocell fabric itself. And when I come down this way, you can see there's a lot of exposed geocell. You can almost see how the water just comes right down this tire track here. And we're losing some of the select mix down there. And this is happening all because we did not go and trench along the inside of the driveway to continue the drainage along the inside. So what we should have done is cut in to encourage the water to continue to drain on the inside of the driveway, but instead it moved into the driveway and started to cause some drainage problems. When you look up at the driveway, on the hill, the steepest part of the hill itself, the geocell is doing great keeping the driveway in place and you don't start to get loss of the select mix gravel until you see where water has come into the driveway. So there's a clear tire path here from loss of the select mix and the exposed geocell, which will need to be graded another time and will need to add a trenching, even if it's a shallow, just enough to kind of encourage it to stay off the driveway especially as we start to get snow and mixed precipitation, it's gonna be really important to keep this driveway good over the winter time. But this just happened from summertime rains and we just did not have the tractor for the last few weeks. So we haven't been able to keep up with regrading on the driveway here. When I come further down the driveway, you can see how a lot of the drainage comes into the middle of the driveway and it starts to spread around all over the base of the driveway here. In the bottom of the hill here, this is where the geocell stops. So even though we still have a little bit of a slope to the bottom corner of the driveway, there's no geocell located underneath the gravel. Right where you can see the bottom of the geocell exposed there, that's where it ends. But otherwise, even without geocell, the select mix has done a really good job just kind of staying in place, even without the help of the geocell. But had we not had the geocell, we probably would have seen a lot more loss of product from the driveway and we probably would have got a lot more displacement while the driveway was in a soft state so when the ground underneath it was thawing we probably would have had a lot more um, spreading and condensing of the gravel so one other thing we did do for the driveway th this year was to add clover on the side of the driveway. This was all exposed dirt. We were using the topsoil here. So I went ahead and spread clover and it's done a really good job kind of taking over that dirt pile and holding on to some of the dirt so that doesn't get washed away. So that's looking really good. And fortunately we did not have a drought this year. So we were able to have this growth without having to water it constantly because that would have been a big challenge without having adequate irrigation system. Let's look at the end of the driveway and see how that looks. 
All right, so things are definitely dry this time of year, and I'm down by where the culvert is at the bottom of the driveway. This is where we had some moisture coming across the driveway early this spring, but we didn't have any driveway damage from it. It's just, it's all dried up. But uh, there's actually absolutely zero water right now in the trench alongside the driveway. So nothing to really worry about this time of year, but we definitely want to be on top of things for the coming season. So we might do a little bit of extra build up on the driveway before we go into winter, just to be all the way ready for um, the next round of moisture for this coming season. I did want to clear up one thing. A lot of folks were thinking that we didn't do any driveway work other than just putting down the select mix and the geocell, but we actually had a professional come in, put down large rock and do the geo fabric before we installed the gravel for our driveway. So we do have that as a base. We do have the sub base and the, the cloth. It's not just gravel on top of topsoil. So I did want to clarify that. A lot of folks were just assuming that we we just put gravel on top of topsoil and that's not true. We definitely built up a base first. But overall, definitely pleased with the GeoCell, definitely pleased with using the Select Mix. Although I do find it pretty dirty, the dog definitely tracks in a lot of dust and a lot of kind of mud when it gets wet. But I think what we'll do next is put down another layer of gravel on top to kind of keep the dust down. That, that would be definitely the finishing touch. But uh, it's definitely looking like fall around here, guys. We don't have any updates for you from last week, and we were actually out in Vermont for a family wedding. So that's what some of the footage was at the beginning of the video with the nice fall colors. The leaf season is just starting in New England, and it's definitely in the throes of it here. So, so if you're thinking about Leaf Peak being up in the Colorado Rockies, this is definitely a great week to come. I'd say the next three weeks are gonna be peak as long as we don't get a hard freeze. And I think there might be some snow in the forecast. I don't know if the temperatures are gonna drop it's a mild 70 degrees but winter is coming guys so we'll keep you posted thanks for watching bye